Hello, it's me, and I wanted to clarify something regarding the last step of the Professor Pyraminx, and that has to do with what appears to be a parity situation given the last two centers. Um, I guess I kind of wish I didn't do this color scheme. It's kind of hard to see the, the difference, but basically, as you can see, everything is fine. The red face is fine, including all the centers, the yellow face, and we're almost done except we have two that are in. Uh, now the technique that I'm going to use to get out of this is exactly the same, but I never quite demonstrated this exact situation, which appears to be a parity. The reason why we never, I never walked into this is because I, in my solve, never gave myself the chance to have a situation like this. Um, but let's say this is what you have, where you have uh, just one square, or oh, triangle rather, that needs to coming with this one over here. Now, if what you're looking for is a specific algorithm that flips these two and then you're done, uh, I don't have that for you. Um, one might exist, but I actually don't use that. And even if I knew of one that existed, I still wouldn't use it because I prefer to just use the strategies that I have. Now, I'll tell you that to get into this, I use the same strategies that I'm gonna use to solve it, and it's really exactly the same. It's using that R, U, R, I, U, I, doing that three times in order to cycle things around. What we have to do is we just have to orient and reorient this so that eventually things get moved back to where they're supposed to be. So right now, this is not solvable with just one move. We have to do some setup moves. And um, what we're going to do is we have to kind of mess up the centers a little bit in order to make this work. So I'm going to navigate our way around this so that we can see how we get out of this apparent parity situation. So what I'm going to do is I, I have to coordinate it to where every one of these has something that's, that's out. Um, and hopefully not one that's, that's swappable like this. So I'm going to start off over here and let's just start moving this around. So I'm going to move this down here. The purpose is, now as you recall, what this algorithm does is it moves this to here, this to here, this to here, this to here, yeah, and this to here, right back again. So let's move this down here, and I'm going to have try to get a situation where every one of these centers has one um, that's out, and then I can start to cycle it that way. So starting from here, I want to cycle this blue to here, which is fine. So now this is out. And I just have one solid side, and that's really what I'm going for. This will come over here, and this will come over here. So I'll just have one out within the yellow side. And then this will come to here. What I'm going to do is uh, I don't want to put this green back in here because I don't want one side to be solved. So I'm going to let it stand at that. This will come here. This will come here and then this will come here, this blue. Um, so I'll just be swapping those. So let's go ahead and do that and see where that lands us. So R is one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. And we'll just reconstruct this back. So now we've taken it out of that situation. Each one of these is, quote, messed up. And now we see what we can do to slowly get things back in. Well, let's start off by putting one of our purples back in. It really doesn't matter which one. So let's say I turn this over here. This will come to here and put that in place. This will come to here, but this will come here. So I'll, just, I'll still have just one out. This red will say... I'll have to put over here. So I just have to remember to reconstruct it back. So this red will come here, this blue will come here. So each one will just have one that's out. So let's do it and see what happens. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and three. So now let's find our way back home here turn this here, turn this down. So this is the configuration that I wanted. All of these have all but one that's out. So now we can start to cycle things around. Um, now if I continue to hold this here, this can go to this side, this can go to this side, this can go to this side, this can go to this. So this is a solvable situation now. What I started off with was an insolvable situation. Now I've created a solvable situation. The only thing I have to do is I have to deconstruct it and remember exactly what I did. 
So this turns down like so. In a, I guess, counterclockwise, this turns down like so, clockwise. But I have to turn this one too, because this needs to come, whoops. This needs to come over here, so this is gonna turn like so. So this to here, this to here, this, and now this is gonna turn here. I just have to remember to turn it back like this. All right, and this should put all of our centers in, this to here, this to here. So one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and three. So all of our centers are now back. We find our way home. This one here, I believe. This one got turned, and uh, let's see, I, I guess it got turned over here, perhaps. This got turned over here, and this got turned over here. So everything is now fine. So if you should ever run into a parity situation, it really doesn't matter what these are. Even if you just have two out or three out, you just have to position and reposition until you Posture it to where one is out on all sides, and it really isn't that hard as you could see. Once you have one out on all sides, you then position it to where um, you can do the final solve. The only issue is, of course, deconstructing it and finding your way home. So I hope that clarified any issues regarding apparent parities with the uh, inner edges. If you find that it's this one and this one that's switched as opposed to this one and this one, again, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the configuration. You can solve it um, exactly the same way just by positioning and repositioning. So there shouldn't be any confusions even if there's two that's out. If there's other situations that are still not quite clear, let me know. We'll clarify it. So hope it helps.